Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to create an action wherein, in just one click, we can delete all of this data in this table. I have two tables here. So this is my sample application. I created the control center wherein I can add more actions here. I already created an action to delete this table let me show you how this app works once i click this action it will delete the date all the data in this table let me show you i click and i go back here the data is gone all right and we'll, let's go to our database in my database also it started to delete let me show you how to create this application. First, I will show you how my database set up. So I have the data here. This is this is the table I wanted to delete all whenever I click this button here. And then the control center, I have only this one. All right. Then in my app editor, I have two tables here, the data, when you, when you view the columns, there's nothing special on it. There's no formula. Yet. And then the control center, I created it as read only. All right. And there's no formula in this. There is no formula in my control center. What I did is just to remove all the check, and I don't and I didn't show values in this column. So what I did, I created a table here, one column, and then I place a value here. Then I just hide. So if you want to add another table, you can simply just add one column and put any text here, and just don't show here okay all right let's go to the behavior let's begin in the beginning the first thing that you need to do is to create an action called delete then I'm gonna name this action as delete since my target table is data, I'm going to just rename this as delete data. Delete this row. And what is the target table, which is the data, which is this table. Okay. Then the appearance. Do not display all right do not display then once you're done for that we need you need to create an action again but in this time execute an action on a set of rows and then where you're gonna trigger this action so we're gonna trigger this in control center So change this to control center. Then I'm going to just name this data. And then reference table is the data. Once you scroll down here, there is what we call the reference action. This is the first action that you created. Then you can apply a reference row expression. So we're going to use the expression called filter. So we're going to filter the target table, which is the data. Okay. And which is true. True means those not empty. Okay. So meaning um, 
we will filter in data table all those data, all those rows that has values. Okay? Then we need to add also the row number, which is true, meaning all row numbers that has data or that has a value. Then save it. Then you can customize what is the appearance. Let's say I'm going to use the bin. Let's say I'm going to use this. Then display prominently. Once I refresh this, this app, it should display me. So for those who have questioned how I did this control center, make sure keep it as red only. So the control center is just read only. Then this column data table the display name <clears throat> I keep it as empty or you can just simply do not show this this column then the UX view for the control center I make it as a detail view and it displays like this Let's try to delete. So let's add some values here. I already copied it. So there are values now. We just need to refresh. All right. Let's try if our action works. Click this and all gone. Alright? So if you learned something in this video, please don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any question. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.